Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the new Let's Play for 8-Bit Summer with Super Mario Land for the Game Boy Pocket. Let's go ahead and get started here. Um, this game is a lot different than any other Mario uh, games out there back in the good old 90s here. We actually, um, this game was actually not made by Miyamoto himself. This was actually created by, um, another developer that I can't really think at the top of my mind right now but it definitely has a different formula of you know the same formula for Super Mario Brothers you know if you nab a power up uh, you can be Super Mario if you grab a fire flower um, you can actually well I mean in a sense that um, you can't really um, gain a lot of hits like, if you still get hit once, you'll still be, uh, I mean, you'll still shrink down the size, but, um, at any rate, uh, I don't know why it just stopped right there, but okay. Um, but yeah, it still has a basic objective, you know, get to the goal to finish line. Um, what's so different about this one is, um, that uh, we got this uh, little tower here. If you make it to the top, you can you'll actually be granted a chance to gain a fire flower or some extra lives. And uh, this game is actually pretty short because there are a total of um, there are really a total of four worlds in this game, and in each of them there's three levels. So about the total of twelve levels altogether. Yeah, this game's really short. <laughs> but uh what are you what can you expect for a Game Boy Pocket game? Um Koopas this time around sport bombs, so if you bounce on them, they actually have a chance to uh hit you and do some damage on you. So if you're not very careful on that, you will lose your power up or lose a life depending on um depending on uh, the situation. As always, grab nabbing 100 coins grants you an extra life. Um, little hearts that you will find, you that will actually give you an extra life as well, like this one right here. And I think we're almost at the exit here. Yeah, the fireballs are, work a lot different in this game this time around too. They bounce all over the place until <laughs> Uh, they hit an enemy, and um, you can shoot two of them at the same time. Now, I don't see how I'm going to have an issue with grabbing some extra lives here. But uh, that ladder there um, can screw you up a bit if you want some extra lives or a fire flower, depending on the situation. Um, there's one thing I like about this game, and that's the soundtrack. <laughs> It's always the soundtrack with me, but ouch. But uh, the soundtrack is really neatly done here, especially for Game Boy Pocket standards. And got some annoying and piranha plants here. Be careful with those, uh. Bleh. Okay, that was my bad. I didn't know I was gonna start right there, but yeah, there's checkpoints here. And if you get a game over, um, well, you have to start at the very beginning because there are no battery backups here uh, on this game anyway. So uh, once you get a game over, that's it. So be careful on that. I think there's a mushroom right here too. There we go. I'll take that. And if I'm not talking much, it's probably because I'm a little nerve-wracked because of the fact that I just lost two lives in one level already. <laughs> How crazy is that? Oh well. At any rate, let's go on ahead and not res rescue Princess Peach this time around, but this is Daisy's first debut in a Mario franchise. Like, thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's 
crazy, isn't it? Alright, let's see if I can nab some extra lives here. That'll make up for the two lives I've already lost, and we'll begin World 2 here. Oh man, the soundtrack. Can I mention again how magnificent the soundtrack is on this game? <laughs> it's it's pretty upbeat. Wow, I didn't know I could jump on those fish bones. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. I'm just going to take my time here because I don't know. I right, get rid of these Goombas. See if I can keep a hold of this Fire Flower right here. Stars will grant you invincibility for a set amount of time. We don't get that classic star theme though. We get the can-can theme instead. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, extra Fire Flower. I'll grab another thousand points. Why not? Hello Seahorse. Oh God. Yeah, you can duck in this game too. Pretty nifty, I guess. Get a one up, why not? I don't think I need those extra coins. Let's go on ahead and go to the bonus room and nab ourselves some extra lives. Um, if you take the bottom of the tower, you know, you won't get a chance at a bonus item, so be sure to try to nab the top the top of the tower at all times. And there we go, we're sporting 12 lives now. Awesome. Oh man. Um, as always, you can run this game. It's the B button and the jump is pr pretty basic and I can't believe I lost my freaking fire flower, but okay. Uh, got kind of twitchy here. But uh, I'll take my time with this level because, you know, I still got plenty of time. Uh, go ahead and get rid of that guy. Jump up here. Whee! Yeah, those robots, you gotta be really careful with them. Because they can actually swing their heads around. And even if you do stomp on them, their heads will still be alive, so... Be careful on that. I think there's mushroom here. I like to say there is. But uh, I don't... Nope, there's not. Okay. Okay, this one here has to be a mushroom. Let me just stomp on that Goomba. Okay, no, it's not. Okay. That's fine. No, oh, whatever. Well, I have a chance at a bonus item here, so maybe I can get a fire flower here. Just gotta be careful with these plat... Forms. Never mind, looks like I'm moving on. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, I mean, we're at the end of World 2 already, so it can't all be that bad. Oh, yes, we entered uh, Gradius Zone. <laughs> Ooh, Mushroom, I'll take that. Um, but you can, you, it's still easy to get hit in this area if you're not too careful, so, uh,. Just take your time with this area. Obviously, if you uh, get smashed between the side scroller and the wall itself, you'll lose a life, so be careful on that. And even though this is the shortest song loop in the entire world of gaming, you know, I still find it catchy. <laughs> Alright, let's go on ahead and get rid of that. I think there's another mushroom heading my way here. At least, here's the hoping anyway. No? Really? No mushrooms at all? Hmm. You'd think there would be one. Nah, whatever. I don't think there's a... Well, I actually, yeah, there are checkpoints here. Just gotta be uh, very careful here, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Oh, mushroom. I think there's a mushroom here. No? No mushroom, really? Are you really just gonna make me duke it out naked? Okay, if you say so. Oh, never mind. I knew this game would be generous. You can duke it out with this uh, sea dragon right here, but what I like to do is go at the bottom here and just do that. <laughs> Easiest boss.
and I think that will about do it for uh, this part. I'm pretty sure next part is going to be our um, last part of Super Mario Land. I know how shocking that short this game can be, but uh, yeah, with that said, I am the Blue Hedgehog 2010. And uh, in the next video, we'll be tackling down World 3 and World 4. Oh, that was unintentional. But that's okay, because I got lives out of it. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'll see you in the next video. So, until then, ladies and gentlemen, happy gaming, my friends.